Hi, I'm Daryl. Welcome to my home. My wife actually works at Canvas, so I'm sure you can guess where she got her inspiration from. When we started searching for a home, we knew we wanted something spacious with a square layout and entryway, like in our childhood homes. I think we viewed around 70 houses in a year before choosing this 5-room resale flat. It's a 30-year-old flat that hasn't been updated since its first renovation. We eventually got Happy Design Atelier's help to give it a total makeover. We host often, so we wanted a big and inviting communal space for everyone to interact. For that, we opened up the entryway next to the kitchen. Now, our guests can take their shoes off before stepping up directly to the kitchen, which is inspired by the Japanese concept of a genkan. Besides knocking down the kitchen walls to open up to the entryway and the living room, we made a couple of other layout changes. We hacked the service yard wall to make the kitchen bigger. We also closed off the original entrance to the living room with a full height glass panel. My wife calls the glass panel a retail store window display because we put up our decorations behind it during festive occasions like Christmas. It really helps to widen the perspective and make the space look bigger. The master bedroom door was too close to the kitchen and bathroom doors, so we also shifted the door further down. I'm a chef, so obviously having a kitchen of my own is very important to me. The original space was quite small and dark, which I didn't really like, so hacking the walls really helped to brighten it up. The challenge for this area was maintaining the space we had while balancing it with functionality for cooking. One of my must-haves was an island, but we had to figure out where to place it without blocking the walking space. My wife and I played around with many designs before settling on this organic shape with a lot of curves and it flows naturally to the living room. When our friends come over, they also like to hang around the island and chat while I cook. The house originally had a traditional look with dark red marble flooring and shades of maroon, which was honestly quite ugly. So we decided to redo it with a timeless colour scheme, with white, deep browns and shades of grey. At the same time, we didn't want our home to look flat, so we included a lot of different textures, like large format Italian ceramic tiles for the flooring, and our dining table made of reclaimed teak. We also had to rewire the entire house, since it's rather old. In the process, we removed the low false ceiling in the living room for more vertical height. That gave us enough clearance for the designer pendant lights that I really wanted to have at the dining area and by the concrete TV console. The master bedroom is pretty simple, but it has deeper colours for a more cosy and relaxing feel. Its standout feature is the entrance to the ensuite bathroom, which our ID suggested. The door connects seamlessly to our wardrobe, so we won't realise that it leads to the ensuite. My wife and I both love the idea. We don't get a lot of natural light in the master bathroom because the neighbouring block is very close. Because of that, we chose light tiles for a brighter and more airy look. In the common bathroom, we use the same material for the tiles, but in a darker colour. Apart from that, the door has a reeded glass pane that adds visual interest. My wife and I each have a separate study for work. We use loose furniture and decorate it with various trinkets. There was a height measurement error for the first kitchen island that was built. So instead of discarding it, we decided to repurpose it as my wife's vanity in the study, since it's just the right height for her. I personally like having more colour, so I have some collectibles on display in my study around my cookbooks. While there were a few hiccups here and there, my wife and I are happy with the end result. Our project manager and ID were very prompt in communicating with us and resolving issues, which we appreciated. We've been living here for about 8 months now and regularly host gatherings. During the recent one we had, seeing our friends enjoying their meals and mingling made us feel like our vision has truly come to life.